Hey riders, welcome back. Got a nice little video here for you today. Again, this is kind of my favorite type of ride. What I was doing here was looking for a decent workout. I was uh, shooting to do three watts per kilo. And you know me, I like to find rides that maybe aren't ridden as much as some of the others that are heavily populated during the challenges. So what I did is I found this Fuji Victory Road ride. Uh, it's actually a really fun ride. It's got a couple of cool things about it. You know, one, it's nice and short. It's 10 kilometers, 6.2 miles, and it's got like roughly 500 meters of climbing. So say 1600 feet. The, uh, the first part of it is just, you know, it's uphill, but it's not brutal at all. It's, can I call it false flat? Mm, I think when it's four or 5%, I wouldn't call it false flat anymore, but it's just enough effort to push against. And what I did here was at the very beginning of the video, you'll see I picked some training partners. So when you launch the route, when you hit start, uh, sorry, when you launch the route on the far left hand side of the screen, you will see virtual partners. That's where you can go down and pick uh, recorded avatars of real world people that have done the same route at somewhere in the past. Um, so you can pick whoever you want. What I did for this one is I know my goal is to ride more than three watts per kilo all the way. Uh, and that's based on my current riding ability. You know, I'm, I was convinced I could do that. Uh, so, but what I did for just, you know, demonstration purposes, I picked a 2.5, a 2.6, 2.7, 8, 9, and 3.0. So I've got to be ahead of that 3.0 watt per kilo rider. Um, Quick shout out to all the people that I randomly selected. I don't know any of these people, uh, their data. It's all kept public by Ruby. I think, I think you can set it to private if you want, but everyone usually keeps it public. Why not? Right. My avatar is available for anyone to use anytime. My account is wide open for you to look at. There's no privacy issues on my account. Uh, yeah. Add me as a friend. If you want, uh, use my avatar anytime you feel like. I, I generally ride pretty hard. So, oh yeah, I just wanted to point out here, you can see I quickly entered map mode. If you've never seen that on Ruby, uh, if, if you're new to the platform, you can quickly jump back and forth between video mode and map mode. Uh, it's just a way of looking back and seeing kind of what's coming up the road, more like lefts, right, switchbacks. Uh, because right now, all I can really see is the profile. I don't know if we're going to be zigzagging and I'd like to see who's behind me on the, the course. Uh, again, these are all just virtual partners, not real people, but it's set up to push me pretty hard today. I've been doing lots of these, uh, what I would call like a, an intermediate climb. These aren't, you know, cat, these aren't HC climbs. That's for sure. I don't, I don't think they're, they're not even a uh, cat one. These are more like cat two and cat three flunk climbs, you know, things that'll be, 500 to 800 meters and climbing over a reasonable amount of space that it's not going to be too brutal. Uh, but what you can see from this one is that the majority of the climbing is in the back end. Uh, so it's the route is filmed beautifully. You can see Mount Fuji in the background here. Uh, everything's on the left hand side, obviously, because we're in Japan, they drive left hand side. Uh, and what I've done with this ride, you know, I've done a lot of rides recently where I've been right around my FTP of 275 watts, 270, high 260s. And those are like all like 30 to let's say 50 minute efforts. I'm just ballparking those numbers. They might be very accurate. They might be out by a little bit, but you know, I've been comfortably riding like 2.9, three watts per kilo for 45 minutes for the last little while now. Got myself a little bit out of shape. And so I am purposefully picking rides like this shorter tougher little climbs to see the, basically i'm trying to build my higher end power over a shorter amount of time and gradually stretch that time out uh, so if i can do it for 20 minutes the next step will be 30 minutes 40 minutes and see how long i can hold that power so knowing what i can do uh, and you can see it on the screen you can see the wattage i'm putting out top left hand corner like around 340 320, 310, whatever it may be. Uh, three watts per kilo for me is at 270 watts. So I'm comfortably keeping it well above three watts per kilo right now. 
uh, I kind of went on a breakaway from my virtual partners, like right out of the gates. I just went. Um, and what's really interesting about the, the virtual partners is when you're picking them out, if it's set watts per kilo, it's a good indicator of how hard they're going to ride. But remember, that's over the whole course. It doesn't really tell you what they're going to be doing at any given point on the course. So you could have someone that goes out really, really soft, really light, uh, just soft pedaling in the beginning. Uh, they're probably just warming up their legs. Maybe they, maybe they don't do like a couple minutes spin before they even start the route. Maybe their warm up is on the route, and that's up to them. They can do whatever they want, right? Uh, and then maybe they push hard at the back end. Well, that soft pedaling at the beginning is going to bring their total watts per kilo down overall. Uh, you never know where they're going to attack on the course. But, you know, you do have the distinct advantage of knowing what their overall is going to be. Uh, so as long as you can kind of stay above that, up to a certain degree, of course, because, you know, uh, basically it comes down to watts per kilo. But if you're on a flat course, that kind of starts falling apart. If you're like on a flat TT course, you want to be the rider who has the bigger wattage. Uh, because let's say, for example, I'm riding against a small climber and they're, three, they're 60 kilograms, their three watts per kilo might be 180 watts, right? They're a 60 kilogram rider. I sure do see a lot of those on Ruby, so let's just use that example. Uh, so three watts per kilo times 60 is 180 watts. Pretty straightforward formula. If you've got two of the metrics, you know the third. Um, well, my three watts per kilo is 270. I am 90 watts per, I'm pushing more than 90 watts more than them all the time. Uh, the only time I'm not pushing over that 90 watts more than them is when I'm switching gears uh, or taking a, maybe a quick little breather on course. And so that 90 watts gives me a huge advantage on the flats. So it's not a perfect comparison. It doesn't tell you exactly what they're going to do. Uh, but it's a good reference point, right? You know, uh, you may be pushing considerably more power or less power and, and you're at your upper end. But I found this course was really well suited for me. And I think for everyone, this gives you a bit of everything because it does climb all the way. But the back end is for the climbers. The front end is for the, the more, the stronger time trial riders, the bigger guys, the bigger riders that are out there. Uh, so... You know, you get a bit of both out of here. And so I found that this stuff at the beginning is really good because it gives you just enough resistance to push against. Uh, I'm just watching the video here on playback, obviously. And uh, yeah, my legs are spinning pretty fast because I've got the sped uh, up two times as I'm uh, recording this. So it's a little bit crazy, but you can kind of see that I'm not really much of a high rep spinner. If you look at the numbers, uh, it's... On the top left, in the middle of the screen, you can see I'm doing like 72, 73 watts. Uh, sorry, RPMs. That's kind of like the cadence I ride. Like, um, I'm more of a grinder. I like to sit down the whole way. I do not stand up once on this ride. I don't stand up on any rides unless it's like an hour and a half long. I'll stand up, stretch my legs for a few seconds, and I sit down again. Uh, I feel a lot more comfortable sitting down and grinding at lower power, uh, sorry, lower RPMs and still trying to produce the same amount of power. Uh, some people will be riding this at over 90 RPM. Uh, I just find this is what suits me better. When I do the 90 RPM plus stuff, that really gets my heart going really too high. Uh, you know, like if I'm 90 plus on a flat, uh, my heart rate's 180 plus. Even this year, I managed to get my heart back to 190. Uh, those are, you know, in really, really flat time trials where you're basically spinning out. Uh, if I had a big selection of uh, big rings, I, I would be changing them, but I don't have that. I ride a 50 big ring in the front. My small ring's a 36. Um, so that's a pretty big jump to start with. That's about the biggest you want to go uh, for the T size to avoid having your chain pop off and the back I ride an 11 and I think it's a 30. I'm almost positive, but 
let's just let's just say it's 30. It might be a 28, but I think it's a 30. So I don't have tons of gears, uh, but you know, up until this point here, I, I'll be in the big ring all the way. And so once we start getting into that 7% range, and this is just a big generalization, above 7%, then I drop to the small ring and, you know, knock it up a few gears in the back end to get me roughly back to the same gearing. I just find on the hills, the big ring will fatigue you really, really fast. Um, but yeah, so this front part here, it's, it's easy to keep your wattage quite high. Uh, and if it was flatter, well, you'd be spinning out and your wattage would start dropping off. Those people that are, that manage to keep, I see them probably like really hardcore triathletes. They're holding like four Watts per kilo all the way, like legit, uh, very strong, very powerful riders. So, uh, props to, uh, those riders. So we're into the climb now. And as you can see, the person that was kind of like, you know, it's, it's, the, the avatar Sergio Boo, they're only 400 meters behind me. And then this unnamed avatar, just user, whatever, is only 900 meters behind me. Well, at the beginning, they were like way far at the back. Um, they weren't pushing big watts at the beginning. So right about here, I'm watching Sergio and I'm seeing ooh, 3.2, 3.4, 3.5 watts per kilo. So, you know, to be honest, I'm like, ooh, is this person coming after me? You know, I, and again, I don't know how they rode the route. Are they going to drop, start dropping four watts per kilo now for the climb? I don't know that. Uh, so I'm just staying right where I am. The hill's not too bad, especially compared to some of the things I've done recently. Uh, oh, which one was it? There's been quite a few recent that I've had some brutal climbs. Oh, the that one, that Romanian climb that I did, Piatra, that one's brutal in places for such a short little climb. Uh, oh, I did another one just recently and I, I recorded it, uh, Merxedo. I've done it twice in the last month. It's got legit 20% switchbacks through a little town, like right through the town. I'm going to drop that video real quick as well. So this 8% stuff feels pretty mild right now. I've got my legs used to it now. Uh, so we're just powering up the hill. I'm feeling pretty comfortable. Although, you know, you can see Sergio has came back at me. So I'm thinking here, they're not dropping, their watts per kilo is less than mine, but they're they're closing in a little bit at times. I'm guessing they weigh a lot less than me. And so that's being all factored into this climb. Uh, this is definitely, I was, gonna, I was gonna say this was not a hidden gem or a sleeper ride, but I, I'm gonna declare it that because even though it's an AR route, even though it's been ridden a lot, I'm the only live person on here. It's only me today with six virtual partners getting a fantastic workout. Uh, I think this is a perfect ride if you've only got like, you know, you're, you're home from work, you don't got a lot of time, you've got other commitments, family, chores, all that kind of stuff. You can squeeze this ride in quick and there's no doubt about it. If you, if you want to ride this hard, you will be, you will get a great workout in. Uh, it's, you know, quite a bit of climbing in a short little distance, you know, there's all the orange red stuff is in the back end of the climb. It's all up there. There's just a few tiny little blips at it at the very beginning. Aha, this truck, I follow this truck all the way to the finish. I never get around them. Uh, maybe I'm getting a nice little draft off them. We're not too sure. Uh, but I'll sneak up on them here in a little bit. I can see I've now gapped Sergio a little bit more. And, you know, I got to point out, like, it's it's these avatars. These are your training partners right here. You can jump on Ruby anytime you like. Pick the climb when you want to climb it, not when it's been scheduled uh, on other applications that are out there. You want to climb this climb today? You're climbing it today. You got no one to climb with? Pick some virtual partners. In fact, I'm thinking this climb here, maybe it's something I should do again. I should be putting like a 3.2 and a 3.3 watt rider uh, that is stronger than me and see how long I can hang on for. Maybe just them being ahead of me will motivate me to ride that little bit harder. You know, you're only going to get better if you ride with better people. That's the old mantra. It's like anything. You're only going to get better at chess if you play with people that are better than you, not by playing people that are worse. 
I hope that makes sense. Uh, so by putting some higher level virtual partners on, and there's there's a million to pick from. Oh, little map mode again. You can see I've got that switch back between me and Sergio. Uh, and then Sergio's got to give a big gap to the next rider. Uh, and, and I'm sensing the finish line already. I think I just saw it on the top of the screen there. Quick uh, point. You can do rides on Ruby in straight up map mode. I've I've done one before that was strictly a map mode because I wanted to do the climb so bad. It was just a really neat climb. And I forget which one it is at the moment. Uh, but it was a climb. I think it was in Spain or Italy, one of the two. And it only had a map mode. It's never, never had a, a video produced on it. Pulling up on the back of that truck here right now. Um, maybe the truck slowed down because we're almost at 10% grade here. I'm still trying to push the same level, 3 watts per kilo all the way, right, and more. So you can flip back and forth between map mode. Maybe one of you want to see where the other riders are. You want to see what's coming. Uh, there's actually a few rides, too, where you'll see in the top right hand of the screen, you'll see like a little map of the climb with a little dot on it. I think there's a few uh, video producers that integrate that into the rides. It's, I like that feature a lot. I'd like to see that more. But yeah, I thought I'd share this video with you. If you're looking for rides to do, check out this Fuji uh, Susano Victory Road. Excellent workout. It's short. Uh, I mean, look at this. This is going to take me... I'm at 33 minutes now. I wanted to push hard uh, just to keep it short. I'm actually on vacation right now, riders. So I want to get back out to the pool. Uh, but I did manage to average 230, 30, sorry, 283 watts average, which is normalized to 285, which puts me over 3.1 watts per kilo. I just hope when I get back home after this vacation, I can do this type of performance again. If you like the video, please give it a like. I'd love if you subscribed and I'd like it even more if you drop me some comments. We can chat bikes, chat rides. Give me a suggestion as to what you want me to ride. Thanks for watching. You can see here, here's the 283 watts. That's above FTP for me. Thanks for watching.